This video is going to look at the second example from the Repeats in Sedalia 7 Part 1 article in the Avid Knowledge Base. So what we're looking at with this example is nested repeats, which is when you try and put a repeat structure inside another repeat structure. So you can see we've got start and end repeat lines here in the middle of an existing set of start and end repeat lines. So it's basically encapsulated inside. This creates a scenario that Sibelius basically can't handle uh, with its automated repeat playback. Uh, so there's uh, some tricks you can use if you really want to force it to play that way and you really want to write it that way. But uh, generally, in most situations, you'll find that uh, just removing the inner repeat and uh, repeating that section uh, in actual notation a couple of times might be the uh, the better way to go. You can see one of the symptoms here is we should normally see a bar number here. If I, uh, for instance, just pop into the play tab and repeat section and just turn off repeats for a moment, you'll see the bar number returns because uh, it's now going to ignore all the uh, the repeat lines in the score. I'll turn repeats back on though so we can see exactly how this works. If we just let it try and play with automatic repeats playback for the moment, and we'll talk a little bit about manual repeats at the end of this video, the symptom that we're going to get here is depicted as one of the, uh, the possibilities at the top of the article, which is why is my repeat section playing in an endless loop? So what you'll get is basically this part here between these two repeat lines once it goes through the first time and goes back to that repeat ending line and then passes through again it's just going to keep repeating over that section forever basically and I'll just play through it so you can see what I mean You can see it sort of hinted that it was going to do the correct thing for a moment, but then it just keeps going over and over and over that bit. So the problem it has in the underlying code is that uh, it can't reconcile the uh, repeat structure between these two versus the repeat structure between these two and what's going on between these two in the middle. It just gets too confused. So generally the better option would be for this simple example the better option would be to just repeat uh, that bar in actual notation. So you would pop an extra bar in, get rid of these, and and just repeat that as necessary. But there is, of course, a way around it as well. If you really wanted to show that particular way uh, that you wanted to represent something, and that was how you wanted to do it, with a repeat within a repeat, it is possible to get the uh, the playback to to emulate that in the way it's written by using manual repeats. And you can see the crazy thing it's doing here at the moment because it's trying to duplicate what automated repeats is doing. So if I just cancel that, you can have a look at this interestingly enough in the playback transport. If we grab the slider head, let's put the uh, the playback line back to the start and just have a look at at what happens when I I drag the uh, the slider head along. You can see it just keeps, no matter how far I go, it just keeps cycling over and over and over infinitely in that one spot. So we need to intervene in this case and set up manual repeats playback. But the first thing you'd have to do would be to delete all that information and then basically following the syntax that it shows here emulate exactly how you want the order of bars to play. So I've got one I prepared earlier. We just have a look at the repeats dialog here. Manual repeats. So this is basically the structure that would need for this particular score with its nested repeats to play back as you would expect from the way it's written. So I can play through that get an idea of how this works.
there you go. So the flexibility is there if you really want to uh, to make use of it and, and get nested repeats like that to, to playback and not affect your bar number structure as well as affecting playback.